Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but whatever. Thank you, thank you, fake audience. Yeah, I need a fake audience because in real life, I have absolutely no real friends. That wasn't funny at all. I will cut you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, freaks and geeks, and my personal favorite, you beautiful lipstick lesbians. I crap, did I really just say lipstick lesbians? I, I, I can't even edit this right. Okay, all right, incoming Jedi mind trick. You did not hear that last part. Okay, I so didn't even work. I just made myself look like a gay Jedi. Hey, the force is fierce with me, honey child. Like my outfit? That's right, got it at Walmart. Yes, yes, you can get outfits like this at Walmart, okay? And maybe in your reality, you can't. You know, as a matter of fact, there's no way in hell you can in your reality. But now that we're talking about Walmart, okay? Tonight's topic will be about Walmart shoppers, okay? This actually happened to me about two or three days ago, what I'm about to tell you. First off, okay, look, we all shop at Walmart, all right? I say 90% of us. And don't try to be different and say that, well, you know what? I shop at Target. Because everyone knows that anyone that shops at Target are, is, uh, okay, look, I can't even lie. I, don't, I have got nothing, nothing against Target, but it's just, it's so much better than Walmart, isn't it? God, isn't it nice? I love their little pizza hut shops, okay, and their combo specials. A cheese and pepperoni pizza, three breadsticks, and a fountain drink for $6.50. $6.50? Are you kidding me? That's every fat teenager's wet dream. Hell yeah, Target rocks. And crap! I got this rapid, stupid ADD. Okay, where was I? Right, Walmart shoppers. Yeah. You guys are dicks. And yeah, I'm on that list. I'm a dick too. Look, okay, sure. Shopping at Walmart, you can get a hell of a lot more for your buck. You can get a lot more. And that's not the case. The case is the finding the shortest line game after you're finished loading your card up. It's bad enough to actually wait 15 to 30 minutes, okay, until you're able to put your food on a dirty conveyor belt. It's even worse when, now, brace yourselves, when you have an obese family of six in front of you already with two humongously filled shopping carts to the top. Okay? Now, don't you just love when they stop the cashier midway from their groceries to see what the total is? Okay? And then they have the cashier ring up like two or three more items and then they can't afford the rest so they have the cashier like put all that crap on his crap so he can make room for the following customers. I feel so, I feel so horrible for those shop, for the cashiers, excuse me. It just pisses me off. So, okay, we're gonna fast forward this, all right? The last family member, okay, this lady is standing there. She's got nothing in front of her. She's just waiting, standing there blocking us and we can't put our food up. Why are we waiting? Because she's waiting for both her kids to come with 20 pounds of candy so mom can buy them the 20 pounds of candy. So let me get this straight. You didn't have enough money to finish your actual groceries, but you had enough money to buy your kids $28 worth of candy? What? So you can provide them with their very own personal diabetes startup kit? Really? So, you know what? Okay, she left. She finished paying, she bounced, and everything's good. So now, my dilemma is, okay, I was so pissed to even realize what was going on, they left both their empty shopping carts in front of us. You inconvenienced 17 people behind you, and you still were an inconvenience after you left. That's talent. Now, my question to you guys is, has this happened to you? Do you know someone like this? And if so, please instruct them to make a fist directly in their face and just punch themselves in the nose. If they ask why, I tell them a connect Dan told them to. Now my question is, again, do you know someone like this? And really, what pisses you guys off? Please leave your comments down below. And I have a lot more to this story. My night was not over. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.